Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Political Progress, where we invite municipal, provincial, and federal politicians to come and sit and talk to us about recent developments. Today's guest is Stéphane Sarrazin. How are you doing today? Good, good. Very uh, nice to be here today with you. Could you introduce us your titles? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I'm Stéphane Sarrazin. I'm actually, you know, the member of provincial parliament for Glengarry Prescott Russell. Also, I am the parliamentary assistant to the Minister of Small Business and also parliamentary assistant to the Minister of Francophone Affairs. So uh, a lot of work. Yeah. The first question I have for you today is what are your goals for Prescott Russell? Well, I mean, it's uh, for me to be, you know, the, the, the voice in Toronto. So that's that's my main the, the main reason why I decided to run. Yeah? Because we need to have a strong voice because we're so far from Toronto. So uh, whatever, you know, we hear, we need to bring it back to Toronto, to Queen's Park. So I'm here to be the voice of the people of Prescott Russell, with Glenn Gary Russell. Yeah. So the government pushed a lot of um, housing and school developments uh, with the growing population of Prescott Russell. But are you guys also working on infrastructures? Yes, absolutely. And right now there's money available for municipalities when it comes to infrastructure, uh, close to $2 billion. So uh, we think as a government, the best way to uh, be able to meet, you know, our housing target is to invest uh, in municipalities to have these water and sewer projects. Because once you have all this in place, then, you know, the, the, the developers and the construction company, uh, it's easier for them to build houses. And, uh, you know, we knocked on door when we were uh, uh, during the election. And that's what mm -hmm. we've heard, you know, like the lack of housing, the cost of living, the lack of infrastructure, so we don't have uh, any options but to, uh, you know, gather the information we got from these door knocking session and say that those are the priorities and that's what we need to stick to. Mm -hmm. The government recently invested $5.3 million into the St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic High School um, and that created 230 more places for the students and in the daycares. Why is it important to invest in daycares? Well, it's important to invest in daycare and uh, school. Uh, like, actually, we need more uh, capacity in school because especially uh, in that region and like here in Rockland, there's a lot of residential growth. So at the end of the day, we need to have the capacity to have these students and uh, to be, you know, attending school locally so we don't have to travel an hour away. So uh, there's going to be a lot of announcement for uh, new school uh, expansion and construction. So that's, mm -hmm. that's good. And the government also mentioned investing money into two new Francophone high schools here in, one of them being here in Rockland that will be coming to us. Um, <clears throat> how will these high schools um, be helping with the Francophonie in the region? Yeah, well, actually, uh, there wasn't any uh, Francophone public school in Rockland, and uh, people have been waiting for that for uh, quite a while. You know, we yeah, like I remember when I was first elected, they came to me and said, "You got to work on this with the Minister of uh, Education." And uh, this year, we actually doubled the funding of schools in the province. So wh whatever we invest. Uh, usually we double these funds so now we can have like uh, we can get started with that school in Rockland and there's a francophone school in Orleans also and uh, one in Carlton and of course we'll see other projects with different school boards uh, that's not the end of it like we'll see some announcement in the near future also mm -hmm. so during this interview we've mentioned some of the projects but are there any other projects the government's currently working on well, the government is always uh, working at uh, getting better service for the people of Ontario. And uh, we've seen that, like, there's a lot of investment in the health sector, a lot of investment in uh, the education sector, because those are really important sectors. So we're, we're seeing, and some of these initiatives, you won't see some results before, like, couple of years from the, down the road because we send, uh, you know, we pay tuition fees for doctors, for registered nurse, but of course, you know, a doctor, uh, it'll take more than a, a year to go to school. So mm -hmm. like whenever we send them to university, so maybe six, seven, eight years from now, we'll see an increase in, uh, you know, medical, uh, um, like doctors and nurses and uh, all the health sector altogether. So mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're, we're happy to be able to invest a lot of money and we've done it also with the um, seniors, long-term care. So uh, mm -hmm. I think we're on the, you know, the right path here. 
Sure. Well, thank you for answering my questions. This concludes today's interviews. Thank you so much for being here. Pleasure.